This is a cervical ischemic myoma managed by a laparoscopic approach. For that, we have to control both internal iliac artery at their origin to decrease the peroperative bleeding. We open the peritoneum lateral to the IP ligament, just above the external iliac artery and vein, and we try to recognize our classical landmark, which are the ureter medially, and we will open the space laterally to the ureter to try to discover the internal iliac artery. You can see by a progressive attraction and contraction, we can identify quickly the anterior trunk of the internal iliac artery. We can put safely a bulldog on this artery. It's a 10 millimeter vascular bulldog gland. We will do the same procedure on the opposite side, opening the peritoneum lateral to the IP ligament to have a good view on the retroperitoneal space. We reach the ureter, we open the space lateral to the ureter, and sometimes the internal iliac artery can be deeper than we uh, think. You can see we have to remove the fatty tissue surrounding this artery. And by a simple movement of traction and contraction, we can reach this artery and we can place the bulldog in the same manner that we have done in the opposite side. Now the uterus should be well devascularized and we have to open the prevesical peritoneum because it's a cervical ischemic myoma. So it's important to uh, remove the peritoneum surrounding the myoma like we do usually in uh, hysterectomy. And by a movement, if just to follow the bubble for removing uh, this uh, peritoneum. It's a transversal peritoneal section. And now we do our classical longitudinal hysterotomy with the monopolar needle. And our goal is to reach the myometry, the myoma. So we have to cut the capsula and to reach the myoma plane, like you see. This is the capsula plane and this is the myoma plane. After reaching the myoma, we use a 10 mm Pozzi forceps that allows us to do a lateral traction and, as you see, we apply the energy, a monopolar one, only on the myoma and never on the healthy myometrium. We have to remove the myoma from its pseudocapsula and when you find the good dissecting plane, even the myoma is the cervical ischemic one, the dissection is quite bloodless. And you can see how the vascular control is useful for decreasing the ble peroperative bleeding. It's important as well to try to detach the myoma progressively outside its bed by a contraction on the myoma and a traction on the healthy myometrium. As you see, I apply the energy only on the surrounding myoma tissue and never on the healthy myometrium. You can see the myomectomy is quite bloodless and in Morocco we have no the right to use uh, uh, vasopressin uh, like in India. So the myomectomy is done. As usual, we don't lose time for electrical hemostasis. I recommend to do uh, the hemostasis by stitches. We use for that 14 mm needle with a Vicryl one. The first stitch is 2 cm outside the uterine scar. And we will do an intracorporeal knotting technique and we will invaginate the healthy myometrium inside the myoma bed like you see and we tie our knot and we do a classical intracorporeal knotting technique. This first knot allows us to ensure more than 90% of the hemostasis. The second knot is just one centimeter above the previous one, same thing, two centimeter outside the uterine scar. 
double flat knot and track of wire knotting technique and we tie the knot, we invaginate the tissue and the job is done. Let's do now the third knot just below the first one, same technique. It's mandatory to have a well-trained assistant for the laparoscopic myomectomy to win time because there is a numerous suture to do during this procedure. I recommend to use the Vicryl one, which is a strong stitch that allows us to do a strong knot. You can see the procedure is quite bloodless. And this is the last stitch. There is no risk for the tube because we are just under the round ligament. Now the myoma bed is completely closed. There is no area bleeding. It's time to do the morselation. We use for that a 15 mm morselator in the left iliac operative trocar. And we have to remove the bulldog after the procedure. You can see it's a very easy procedure, bloodless, even the myoma, it's a cervical ismic one. We have just to, to clean that there is no occult bleeder on the internal iliac artery, to clean the pelvis, and the job is done. I hope this video was interesting for numerous co colleagues who follow me, and thank you for attention, and see you later. Goodbye.